Okay. Hey, everybody. It's uh, Thursday, the 22nd of June, and we are having our weekly team motivation team call. And today I'm going to teach a little bit about two new, um, it's a form and a PDF that some of the leaders have been using and sharing on how to simplify your lead funnel and really help uh, dial down the amount of time it takes for you to get a new lead um, interested and learn more about them. And um, instead of doing that whole forming process that sometimes takes three months, it, we're trying to dial it down and get it done and get it done fast so that we can get to know them, get to know what their needs are quickly, and then give them a solution or at least a roadmap for them and um, a, a way for us to follow up with them that's a little bit more in line and, and streamlined and detailed so that we can keep better track of them and all of that good stuff. So uh, before I dive into all of that, I just wanted to ask if anybody has any recognition or anything that they wanna add or any little tidbits that we need to know for the week. Anything important? I do know there's gonna be another sneak peek of shift shop coming up soon but i don't think they said the date when it was going to be so but i do know there's going to be another shift shop sneak peek so if you're going to do a free group no, no, it's, still, it's still in there it's still you know usually it goes away oh it's still there oh it's in like the, the challenge du jour library because i did it again today oh sweet all right well that's awesome i should do it a second time and I would say, if, as long as Sean Week is up there, who knows how long they're going to keep that. I, I'm hoping they're going to keep that up there. But I think running free groups with that Sean Week is a great idea. Just keep doing it over and over again. You can also buy the, um, the little targets for Ship Shop in yes. the Teenage Body Store. Yep. Those are great. Love those. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm just going to dive right in because um, there's a lot to go over. I think both of my videos that I did were like 45 minutes each, so I apologize for being long-winded, but tried to co cover everything that I could. Um, all right, so what we're going to go over first is this, this system. Um, Brooke Lipoff is the one that originally started this, and she started it because, is it Lipoff? I don't know, Lipoff, Lipoff. Oh, I don't know. I just said I love her. Oh, she, yeah, she's good. Um, so... She's got a baby at home and she does not have a lot of time to spend going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth with clients to see if they may or may not purchase. So the whole reason to do the form is to really understand who they are, where they're coming from, a little bit about what their, their pain points are, their struggles, um, finding out their why, um, you know, just, just really tuning into them, dialing it down so that we get to know what they're dealing with. But not only that, we also get to know how serious they are about this. I mean, you ask them, are you ready to do this? How, how soon do you want to get this started? And are you ready to invest in yourself? So, and those are the questions that you ask when you form, but asking them on this questionnaire really helps them understand, okay, if I am going to do this, I, I, I need to invest in myself. And it just, it just really helps. And the more you put your voice into these questions on the questionnaire, the, the more they get, you know, to understand you. It's not just a, it's not, I don't know. So, so like you're in a, a, a an accountant's office, you know what I mean? It's not so dry. So just really try to put your words onto the questionnaire. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start sharing my screen just so that you can you can see this and we'll go over very, very um, briefly about how to share the form or how to create the form. So this is um, my form. Um, it's long, but I think the people that are going to take the time to fill out a long form are going to really qualify themselves because um, you know, if, if they're not, if they don't have the time, if they don't want to be bothered, then you know what, they're not going to commit. They're not the person that's going to be ready to do this. So I want somebody that's going to fill out this form completely. That's going to get over hurdle number one. 
So um, again, when you create your form, it's very easy to get one started. It's in, I create mine in Google Drive. There's Typeform, there's Jotform, there's WooFoo. So whatever way you want to create a form, um, just go ahead and get started. And I don't remember if I shared the, um, the lead questions from Andrea Crowder. I know she, I think they're in the files of Team Motivation, but I can put them in the recording of this video in both Team Fusion and Team Motivation so we have those. But there's a ton of questions that she asks and I, I urge you to pick and choose the ones that you would normally ask and if there's any other questions that you normally ask your um, potential customers when you're forming them, to include those in your questionnaire. Um, I like, I put a little heading on mine, so all this is right here is, this is just the title, and then down here I added just this little body of text, which is this right here, the two T's, that's all I did was I just hit that and it, and it, you know, added like a little body of text. So thanks for your interest went here in the untitled section. And then the description is all of this down here. And <clears throat> I made sure to star this. If you already have a beach body coach you're working with, please close out this form and request that info from them. So that way I didn't have to ask, are you already working with a beach body coach? I just put it right there in the beginning, you know, and let them know just, at talk to your coach first okay um, most important questions first and last name and you got to have their email I always um, have almost every question I require them to answer it in order to submit the form and to do that you just shut turn on and off your little required button and that's at least on Google Forms Jen? Um, yes Jen, I wonder if it's better to have the first and last name as separate fields, if you're gonna put this information into like a .csv file, like in Teamsy or ACO or some other. Any way you wanna do it, really, um, if- Because I, it won't be able to pick out the names. You know how you tell it the fields? Right, you have right. The well, let me if show you, have you it also. You know, that's a really good point. I didn't think about that. I had it set up that way originally and then I changed it. But let mm -hmm. me want to share, show you how it shows up in, on the spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. So it's not it, going to sort them. It would sort them probably by alphabetic if you told it and it would right. sort by first name. Right, so if you were to, to download this as a .csv file and import it to any other customer database, yes. it's not going to pick out first and last name for you. You're going to yeah. have to manually do that. Yeah. But it might be easier from the get-go to have yeah. those as two separate fields. So here I had, I had a last name in there and then I changed it. So yeah, mm -hmm. you can totally do that. Or you can, you know, if you want it, you can just, you can type it. I, it's, it's up to you, but it's easier probably if you just have, that, have the form separated first name last name so yeah for sure good point so thank you okay um email address cell phone number if you'd like me to text you i just get let them have that choice if they want me to text them and then of course make sure you're adding uk because we're going to be breaking into that market so make sure you have uk in there that's important <clears throat> excuse me um then a little bit about their day to day. I kind of Nathan? Um, brought, made this a little bit of a bigger question. I want them to type some words, you know, I want them to give me information. So I'm trying to ask leading questions in order to get them to, to really dig deep and, and, and give me exactly what, what is going on with them. So, um, so these are just some examples of the questions. I, I want to know any restrictions, you know, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, lactose intolerant, celiac, nuts, you know, all of that stuff. <clears throat> and then I went through and threw in all different kinds of um, workouts that they, do they love these or they're interested in trying? I thought that was a good question, a good leading, you know, what do you know you love, but maybe also want to know more about? So I put that in there. How much time can they devote? 
Um, I added this question today because if you're going to give them a realistic time frame of how long this is going to take them, you can do this one of two ways. You can ask them how much weight they want to lose or pounds or whatever. Um, or you can tell them based on what program you choose for them how long it's going to take. So you don't, I mean, you're, I'm not asking you to be a, a physician or a nutrition, excuse me, nutritionist and estimate how long it's going to take somebody to lose that weight. But realistically, safely, you can lose anywhere from one to two pounds a week. So if, if you calculate that out, if they say they have 50 pounds to lose, one to two pounds a week, you can generally give them, you know, a, um, a figure of how many months it's going to take for them. So that's just kind of a FYI. Um, Shakeology, have you ever tried it? Um, I, the people that have filled out this form um, so far have said, yes, I am so ready. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Um, are you ready to make an investment in yourself? So right there, they know they've got to make an investment. So, and when would you like to get started? And here's the big one. How is your Wi-Fi strength? Make sure you know that so you know whether you can recommend BOD or if you need to recommend just a regular challenge pack. Okay. Genius. I never considered adding that. Such a good idea. Yes, you've got to have that one. <laughs> Um, and then also, I just put this, this is my little waiver down at the bottom. Please know I'm not a nutritionist or medical doctors. My recommendations that will follow are not a substitute for medical advice. So this puts the onus on them. They have to understand that this is, you know, this is their deal. And, if, and, and they need to make sure that they... If they have to check with a physician before they get started on something, then they do so. And they have to check the box that they agree that it, that they check with their doctor, okay? And if they don't, that's, that's on them. So um, I really, really highly encourage you to put this in your questionnaire. And, and what I did is I just did a checkbox. So I, I added my question and I used the checkbox option. Okay, and that's all I did. All right, so so that's my form. And then again, um, you can their responses. You can look at them here, um, or you can click this little green box with the plus in it, and that creates your spreadsheet, which is this guy. Okay, so make sure that you turn that on, and you turn on that you're accepting responses. And so that you, um, you can see that in spreadsheet form. And then I also, in the video, I'm not going to cover right here because it's a little step by step by step. If you turn on that you want to get notifications, um, you can also have if this, then that notify you anytime you get an email from Google telling you that you've got a response on your spreadsheet. So you'll get a text right to your phone. So you didn't have to remember to come back and check your spreadsheet all the time. So go to ifttt.com and you're gonna go um, create that recipe. And if you wanna know more how to do that, go back and watch the tutorial video that I shared in the groups, okay? It's also, my tutorials are also on YouTube, just in FYI. Okay, do we have any questions on the form before I go any further? Is everybody good with that so far? All right. Okay. Um, Diane, you had put in a question. Um, Diane said... I think it was about the YouTube... Um links of a non-YouTube video. Like if you can get the copy of a link and you remember you were going to put it in there. If yeah. you, know, you, can, you can get the, the link, would you ever put it in like part, as part of like your question or somewhere else in the form or just then put it into your Canva document? I would probably wait and put it into my Canva document um, just because you don't want to, to down. Yeah, and I don't want to try and 
I, I, I don't want to distract them from answering the questions that I need them to right, authentically. Yeah. yeah. So I, I think the anything that you share, any video or any link or anything like that is best suited for your PDF. So um, because they, it, people, um, man, I, if you're anything like me, I get distracted, totally distracted. So if I'm in the middle of filling out something and then, oh, in the middle there's a video, I'm never going to finish that sheet. <laughs> you know, realistically, it's like, no, I'm not going to do that. All right, so let me go back to my Canva. Okay, so here we go. Oh, my screen is a mess. Sorry about that. Okay, so we're on Canva now. And I'll step-by-step step go through this. Um, and if you haven't created your form already, then we're going to kind of go through this and do it together okay so when you sign into canva you're gonna see these choices up here these are your templates um, but you want to go to more because what we want is this US letter form okay or, or template I should say so you're gonna click on US letter and the reason why we do that is because when you go to download it automatically selects PDF format for you. So that's why we use this one. And it gives you the, the correct eight and a half by 11 size. Um, I don't like to use their, um, their templates here, but you can if you wanna have something different in the background. I don't want it to be too distracting. I want them to see my words. So I, I tend to not, want to use these. Um, there's some letterhead in here, but I don't know. I, I want to make it a little bit more formal. So I'm not going to worry about that. But what I am going to do is I'm going to go to elements because I like to put that uh, just a little bit of an image header um, at the top. And you can use something similar to the one that you use on your Google um, questionnaire. You can use that, and if you have that image saved on your computer, all you need to do is go down here to the uploads, and you will upload your own image, and you'll, by doing that, you just click on this green button. Oh, geez, wheel of death, sorry. My computer's going slow. But anyway, um, then you can go through your files and find that photo that you used and bring it in to your Canva. Um, but for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to nature because I'm all about, you know, the outside and the outdoors and all of that stuff. So I'm going to pick one of these free guys. You, if you see, they're all, they all say free. These are all free things that you can use. Um, I'm going to take my image up to the top. And then I'm going to come up here to crop because I don't want that whole image. I'm going to spread it out at the top, and then I'm gonna shrink it. So I just have a little bit showing. And you can have any part of this picture showing. I can move it, I can move the picture and you know have like this part down here showing, up at the top, wherever. So, all right, so that's, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna crop and then I'm gonna hit the check mark and there it is, okay? So that's just to kind of to make, make a neat little heading, all right? So, John, yeah. real quick. If yeah. you, um, if you do spread your document onto two pages, you can actually show a little bit more of that picture. Yeah. That yeah. was nice too. It was like, cause I felt like I didn't get enough of my picture. Yep. Yeah. Cause well, that's a, that's a great point. Yeah. You can, you can have, if you really think that you need to show more up here, definitely spreading out your sheet is good. And to add an additional sheet, you guys see this double, uh, 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 oh, somebody needs to mute. Somebody. Sorry. <laughs> if you click on that double sheet right there, right there, you can copy the page. All right, who's are we getting a pad? Everybody mute yourself. Everybody mute yourself. Unless you have a question. Unless you have a question. Just in case. Okay, how's that? Is that any better? Okay, good. I think we're good. All right. And if you have a question, just unmute yourself and ask, okay? Um, so you can keep this header here. If you don't want the header on the second one, you can delete it.
by you just click on the image, it will highlight, and then you go up here to the trash can and just delete it, and it's gone from page number two. And if you don't want page number two, you, you scroll down to page number two and you hit the trash can, and page number two is gone. If this is too small to see while you're working, come down here and just hit the plus button and it will um, enlarge your image and you can also just kind of enlarge your screen and so you can see where you're working. All right, so step number two is gonna be creating, um, however you wanna create that, that separation of um, their recommendations from you know what what they said so I'm going to go back to uh, my sheet that I made so this is the one that I did I'm going to move my tabs over because this recording thing keeps getting in the way okay sorry so this is the sheet that I did um, and, and I agree with Diane that the type can get very small. Right here, this is um, 0.9, and I, I think it's pretty small. So I'm going to um, probably enlarge and duplicate a page and make it a little bit bigger. So what you can do is take this portion over here where you are repeating what they said to you in their words. Of course, you're going to want to make it in, you know, co correct sentence form. But you're going to put what they said here in this, um, in this area, all right? What you can do is, as you're reiterating what they said, you can take um, this text box. So you're going to just add some text. I, I like to use these up here instead of these pre-made ones just because it's easier to change the size and change things. Of course you're going to want to put your picture up here. We'll go over that in a second but just really quick. Um, you know you said your goals were oops All right, and then you would copy and paste that in there, all right? And, and again, you use the text, use the smaller text, and copy and paste what they said right here. And again, to change the font, you come up here to the left-hand side, up at the top, change the font, change the size, change the color, center, left, right, all that good stuff. Okay. All right. I'm going to go back to elements because um, I did have some people ask me about how to get the picture in um, that's kind of nice and neatly arranged in like a little frame. I went to frames. If you didn't see that, I, I went to elements and then I went to frames. It's the third one, the yellow one. And I'm, lots of people like to use the circle. And you can put that, you know, up here and put your image in the circle like that. Um, and what this will do is because it has this, this image, this cloud image in there, it automatically lets you drag and drop something in there. Okay. So I'm going to just, for example, I'm going to go to my uploads and say um, I'm going to use this picture. All I need to do is drag this picture of me up and over on top of that circle. I have to make it a little bit smaller for it to pick up, but it will pick up and put it right into, oh, what did it say? Cut out transparencies, can't go into that. All right, well, never mind. So I can't use a transparency. <laughs> All right, let's try another one. Let's try Andrea and John. So let's put this one over here. I got to make it a little bit smaller. There. Oops, that circle has a line in it. I didn't notice that. Did you guys notice that? So this circle's got a big banner in it that you would put text over. So I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to delete the image and then I'm going to delete the element because I don't want to use that one if I didn't notice this green banner across it. So we got to find a different one. 
but there's plenty of them. They're all down here. Here they are. Here's the ones with no banners. This one doesn't have a, a frame around it. This one does. This one's got like a little line around the middle. This one's got a thicker one. Here's an oval. Let's try that one. Okay, so there's a little oval. So we're gonna put that up here, make it a little bigger maybe. And then you're gonna put your own photo in there. So let's put the banana in there. And it pops in really nice, okay? So that's how to do that, all right? And then you can put, make sure you put your heading in there like I've got, here's your health and fitness plan or health and fitness assessment or whatever you want to word it, recommendations for, and then you put their name. Put their name in like a bigger, um, bolder font with a different color. So um, let's go with, we're going to add a, add a heading, a nice big bold font. And we're going to put that up here. And um, let's see. I don't know. Pick anything. But I want it to be really, like, noticeable. So something very different from the rest of the type that I've got here. So I'm going to type Andrea right here. And then I'm going to change this because I, I want it to be, like, really noticeable. So I'll probably put it the same color as the blue that I've got my other wording. Okay. So there we go. So it's really noticeable. Okay. Um, all right. So that's not how we do that. That is your, um, like right here, your health and fitness. Um, assessment plan. All right, so I'm going to stretch that out. If you don't want it to be that, whoops, if you don't want it to be that big, highlight it all, and then come up here and just make it a little bit smaller. Whoops, I spelled assessment wrong. Okay. And then again, you can, um, Center that, left and right, however you want it. So I'm show, I'm doing this a little bit bigger um, because I, I think that's a great point that Diane had. So you don't have to smush it up so much. Um, and then you can really let them see that you are listening to them. You heard what they said uh, and, and spell it out for them. Okay. All right. Now. To create this side of the page, oh, also, before we go on, I think it's really important, I'm gonna bring this up a little bit bigger. I think it's important, again, to reiterate what you said before in your um, questionnaire that, that you're not a nutritionist or a physician and how you have the, the knowledge and the authority to share these recommendations with them, but they always need to get medical advice first if they need to. I can copy this so you guys can see it. Um, I'll put it in the comments of the video. And don't look at this yet because I voice to texted it and it's not all spelled right yet. <laughs> yet. So, <laughs> so, but this is something that I'm gonna use as kind of a template. I'll change it per, per person, but, um, so again, uh, we talked about um, this a little bit um, about how to do a time frame. Um, I'm not sure as I'm gonna have body goal in there. I, I don't. I'm not about the image, so I think you're. I'm just gonna leave it at goal. But again, totally up to you. Um, some of the examples that I shared with you had on here, um, body type images. Um, you know, I, I guess that's up to you if you want to include that, maybe have them select what body type they think they are, and you can get those little um, images off of Google. 
Let me show you how to do that really quick. So um, you just do a search for um, body type image. Uh, I would do clip art so that you can get like these little, the black and white things. Um, all right, so here, here's a good one here. This one's got, but it's protected. So see, you're gonna get these lines. So you have to find one that doesn't have all of that in it. So you gotta be really careful. Here's one down here that's all women. Is this one protected? Yeah, this one's protected too. It's got all the lines in it. So you're gonna have to, you know, be kind of creative and find one that that's not super protected. This one's not. That one's kind of cute, but I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of sensationalizing a woman being, you know, really. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't like that one very much. <laughs> but anyway, you get what I'm saying. Um, you can. Oh, here's one. This is good. Here, it doesn't have a woman in there. So, are you an apple shape? Are you a pear shape? Are you more straight or are you more hourglass? That's a really good one. So if you want to have people, um, you know, define a body type, then you can put this image in your PDF. And the way you save, just FYI, the way you save an image off of Google, never save it from right here. You go to view image so that you can actually see the image like it is, and then you right click it and save image as. The reason why you do that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save this one, um, uh, body types. Um, but the reason why you do that is because if you save that image from the first, from this page right here, you can uh, download viruses to your computer. It happened to me a couple times, so don't ever save from here. Always view the image and then save, okay? So just a couple ideas. All right, um, what do we wanna cover next? So we wanna cover that framed area on the other side and then we'll go over how to hyperlink, okay. So for this area right here, your recommendations. Let's let's do this little area right here up on the top, okay? So what I did was I went back to my elements and I'm gonna choose another frame. Um, not one that's got a picture in it. I'm gonna scroll down to uh, some, you know, something like this. One of these that has just lines in it. Um, because it, Canva doesn't have, let me go back and show you why. Canva does not have, even though it says lines, it doesn't have anything very thin. It has these thick ones, but you can't shrink it down and make it smaller. You can only make it larger, and I think that's too big to frame something, okay? Without like building four of these, one here, one on the left, one on the right, one on the bottom. And I mean, that that's too time consuming. I ain't got time for that. So, <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go back to frames and I'm gonna scroll down here to where these empty frames are and just pick one of these. And you can rotate it. You can do anything you want with it. It doesn't have to be that size, especially if you're gonna do a second page, um, something like this rotated to the side and have their personal recommendations on it. You can frame it like that, something like that. Um, there's lots of other ones, there's, you know, there's, there's tons of stuff. But anyway, choose a frame like that if you want, or you can even just do maybe some dotted lines. So if you, if you did wanna do lines, um, let me go here. If you did not want to do a frame, if you wanted to do a side by side, they did have something that I thought was kind of interesting, which was, um, where is it? Sorry, I, I probably shouldn't get distracted, but you can go through and find stuff like this. So there's like a squiggle. You can do that if you want and rotate it and divide your sheet. Oops, 
it's not straight, but you get the gist. So you can do that if you want. But again, totally up to you. Lots of stuff to play with in here. So just, just have fun with it, okay? All right, so now what we're gonna do is, I wanna show you how to do this little piece right here. This is, you're going to put in the, depending on if they have a good Wi-Fi signal, then you're gonna link this to the Beachbody On Demand Challenge Pack video here, okay? If they do not have um, good Wi-Fi, then you're gonna link it to whatever challenge pack you're talking about. Um, or what is a challenge pack? Probably I would do what is a challenge pack because I don't wanna give them a direct link to purchase whatever it is on this form. That's gonna be in your follow-up. All this form is is to be recommendations for them to look at more information and get more information from. Do not put any of your shop links in this PDF. Just make this an informational form because once they see everything that they're gonna get and you've talked to them after you send this to them, then you can send them the link because there's gonna be more conversation, a little bit more conversation after you send this to them. All right, so then once they commit, once they understand everything that's included and they're ready to order, excuse me, then that's when you send them the link through um, the coach mobile enrollment if they're gonna go with a challenge pack, okay? That's, that's how I would do that. All right, so um, very easy. Again, build your frame if you want it. Just type in, all I did was I, I just typed in my typed in my words. This, the line that I used right here, um, I did have to get a little creative. I'll show you how I created the line because again, the line in elements is not a true line. It's really big and fat. The way I did it is I went to shapes. I did the square shape. I added that in and then I shrunk it. Okay. So I just say I wanted a line over here in this section. I just shrunk it. There, there's my line, okay? That's, that's how I created these lines over here. Um, and if you wanna move them around together, if you've created like a bunch of these and you want, you want them to move like, um, here, let me copy this one. See, there's a, here's my line. I can come up here to the top. I can copy it two or three times, okay? I'm gonna put these all in a row here. And Canva is really good because it, it tells you when you've got things lined up. You can see the dotted lines here and here. It tells you that you got things li lined up. Then if I want to move these all in um, succession, I don't want to move things individually, I would click on the top one, hold my shift button down, click on the second one, Click on the third one and it groups them together so you can move them all at the same time. Okay, and that way you can you can move these guys around if you need to. So just FYI, and then I'm gonna delete them. All right, so create that part. And then again, just put new text over the top, a new text box, and when you type in this text, normally on any type of um, PDF or anything like that that you're creating, when you hyperlink to it, it will automatically change the text to like a blue or a purple with an underline on it. It doesn't do that on this. So you want to make sure that you put this in a different color and then you come up here to the hyperlink button up at the top right next to the trash can and put in your link. This is a link to a video and you want to use the videos that are in your online office. Do not use YouTube videos. I talked about this in the, um, on the uh, training video. Do not use YouTube videos because it can send them down a rabbit hole. They're gonna get suggestions on that right-hand side of all different kinds of stuff. Why I left Beachbody, why I hate Shakeology, Shakeology's too expensive, blah, blah, blah. You don't want them seeing any of that. Just direct them to your video on your website, okay? 
The only thing that I cannot find a video for, um, and I'm gonna have to look at this, is the portion fix. There is no video for portion fix. Um, the only thing that they have right now is uh, in your shop, your online shop, that describes the portion fix, which is fine. Um, it gives them a lot of detail, so you can use that. They do have, uh, I use Tony, she Tony Checks Out for Shakeology, and they do have the, um, the great Tony video that explains all of the Shakeology boosts, if you need to put anything like that in there. And each of the performance line supplements has its own video, so just link to all of those, all right? Um, okay, so make sure that you're including what's included, uh, what they, you're including what's included in a challenge pack, but don't be super detailed. Just give them some bullet points and what they can expect. Um, time to reach their goals, we talked about that. And then notes for clients. Again, this is voice to text, so don't look at my, <laughs> don't look at what I wrote there, but I can copy and paste this for you again so that you can get an idea of what I put in here. It's going to change a little bit per customer, but, um, this is going to be basically the same type of thing that I send to people, but there's going to be these blanks I'm going to fill out that are more personalized. So any of this stuff that you want that, that I've written down, uh, let me know and I will share. Okay. So I'm going to stop my screen share really quick because I want to see if anybody's got any questions about creating that PDF. Oh, you know what? I forgot to tell you one thing. So let's go back to screen share, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, when you're done creating this, number one, make sure you click up here to name your document. Make sure you name it original, okay? Because you're gonna have a blank one that you're gonna wanna save and never change. All right, you wanna have a blank one. So make sure you type in original. Second thing is when you download this, when you have one that's filled out for a specific person, when you download, you want to make sure here in the file type that it says PDF. All right. If you've used the letter size template, it should automatically go to PDF. And print, recommended, that's fine. That just means if they want to print it out. They won't have the hyperlinks if they print it out, but they can print it out, okay? And then you download it. It's going to go into your download folder, and then you just attach it as a, a PDF attachment in their email, all right? Okay, I'm going to stop my share really quick. All right, once you have sent this or created this uh, PDF for them, what you're going to want to do is you're gonna send them an email and you're gonna let them know, you know, that you, here's your PDF, you're gonna explain a little bit about it, um, a little bit of, you know, you don't need to reiterate everything that you've made this in this PDF, but you wanna just tell them, you know, you understand their goals um, and that you're gonna set up an appointment with them to talk over this. Um, if they need to, if they want to go over your, your suggestions, your recommendations, but what you need to do, and this is very important, you need to urge them to respond within 28, I'm sorry, 24 to 48 hours in order for you to save their spot in your group. Otherwise, you're going to need to give their spot to someone else on the wait list. So create the sense of urgency, have them respond back to you ASAP. Send the email. Once you've sent this email, this is something that's really cool. Go back to whatever social media platform they contacted you on in the first place. Send them a voice message. If it's on Instagram, I don't know if you can do voice messages, but Facebook, you absolutely can. Send them a voice message and just say, you know, hey, Andrea, I just wanted to let you know I, I've got your health assessment um, and plan ready. I just sent it to your email. Please let me know that you've received it. If um, you don't get it within the next 30 minutes, check your spam folder or whatever. Keep it short, but just let them know that you've sent it and if they don't get it, to make sure they contact you, okay? And then in your email, make sure you set up a time for them 
to contact you back. Set your office hours and say, if you'd like to go over this, you know, let's set up a time on such and such a date or whatever. Give them, give them like an appointment time. I can meet with you to talk to this, talk about this on such and such a date for 30 minutes here, here, here. So they know that they're going to get your time, but it's got to be, you know, you're not going to spend an hour going over this because your time is valuable. Guys, don't, I mean, I know we love to talk to our customers, but there's, there may be a lot of people wanting this. So try to keep your time down to 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Okay. Um, let's see, Diane, you want to share your screen, Diane? You still here? Oh, you're muted. <laughs> if you want to sh um, share a voicemail on Instagram, you can go to Instagram stories and then where it says share, you can choose an individual person. So you can actually send them a little video. That's awesome. I love that. That's perfect. Let's That's see. perfect. I think you can do that on Facebook too, can't you? Oh yeah. This probably, I don't know if you can do them to a special, um, let's see. I love that picture. Oh, thank you. That's my photographer who is now a coach. Yay! Yay! <laughs> um, yeah, she just did this special that um, anybody who, because we're going to do a challenge group together, that signs up for a challenge group, that they get a 35% discount for a post-challenge fitness shoot. Oh, that is such a cool idea. Carrie, are you still on? Is Carrie yeah. on? I'm not doing this. Let's see. Carrie's a photographer, too, if she's still on. Oh. That would be awesome. Yeah, that's a great, I mean, obviously that's awesome for her to do because then people really um, get to show off their, you know, it's like a motivation. Yes. So I think I did this backwards. So I ended up making the copy and the copy is the one that is the one that's not edited. So I have to oh. go back and fix this up. So here is, I don't know if you can see it. So this is page one and I just did um the picture and just a really bigger space to do this was like the goals the struggles yeah, yeah. What, what motivates you yeah. and then here was i will fill in and i like your ideas about the um the lines because i was doing like that shift and the you know space bar or whatever and it was making it, it yeah. was really close. so That's I, have to, I have to fix that and then i will do the little um I have to find an image over here and a little iPad screen. That is actually a frame. So if you go yeah, to Elements, I saw that. yeah, it's a, it's a frame. So that's automatically there for you. Yep. I just got to grab um, an image that I want, probably of my own, you know, before and afters like you have. Yeah. And then, yeah, there's my little disclaimer there. So I just got to tweak it a little bit, but Perfect. it seems to spread it out a little bit on, well, I liked it on two pages. Yep. So. That's great. Love it. Love it. Very nice. Good job. It looks great. Thank you. Oops. I placed it like that there. How do I? And it was nice because I actually, while I was doing this, I uh, uploaded a bunch of my pictures. Um, Good. So you've got them all in your uploads now. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. Yeah. I can get off of there. Perfect. Oh, they're That's all good. Awesome. All right. Well, um, okay. Does that, I mean, does that, the flow of that seem logical to everybody and you understand how, how the process and all that? I mean, yes, there, there may still be some forming after they get this health assessment from you. Um, but you know, if you really take the time to read their answers and really, you know, dig deep and, and give them um, some real little bits and pieces of knowledge. And, and if you don't know, gosh, look it up. Look, go to Google and get some, well, I shouldn't say go to Google and get some medical suggestions because you don't want to do that. But, you know, I mean, just in general. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're, you're not going to, and, and of course, ask in the group too, because we do have a lot of nurses. We've got a lot of health um, nutrition professionals. Uh, I get a lot from like Dr. Mark Hyman. You're going to find some little uh, that I follow on Facebook and yeah. really reputable functional medicine docs that, cause really I tend to go that route, like really trying to figure out how to maximize the use of, of nutrition and, you know, physical health to, or physical exercise to make your, 
you know, to enhance your health instead of like, oh, I, I have a few great ideas for meds for you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But um, yeah, but uh, oh, and and of course, never ever try to diagnose or you know any of that stuff. You 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 know by by what we've been taught and the nutrition that we've learned, um, what's safe to recommend to people. So just just be smart on what you're recommending. Stick with what you know, you know, the nutrition plan and what you've learned from the nutrition plans and, and the workouts and things like that. So, um, and of course, if they have any underlying issues that, that you're like, I, I ain't touching this, just make sure you recommend that they check with their doctor. You know, that, that's all you can do. Check with your nutritionist, check with your doctor, make sure it's safe for you to do this program before we jump in on it. So always, always, always err on the side of caution there. Um, I think that's it. I think that's all I've got. Um, unless there's other questions that come up as, as you guys are trying to, or when you create this, um, just let me know. We'll, we'll, uh, I'll answer anything that you've got. Um, but, but it should be a pretty logical flow from questionnaire to filling out the form and then to defining what what program we think they need and and how to how to get them started in the challenge group but make sure you're always putting like your dates when when things start so that they always have a sense of urgency that they need to fill this out and get it done quickly and and you as well <laughs> one thing i've gotten like uh you know a few responses tonight that was just in like the last hour i got those two and I need to make sure I answer those, but I got to make sure that I take the time to look at what they've put in there and put some time into it, but yet yeah, get back to them in a timely manner. So I'm going to make sure that I get those done first thing tomorrow and so that they're not waiting forever for that. So anyway, okay, I guess that's all I got. <laughs> so, well, there's, there's four of us left. So thank you guys for hopping on and sticking with me. I know it was an hour. It's long and it's late. Thank you. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, Paula. Thank, thank you. Thank Bye. you, guys. I appreciate it so much. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Thank you.